been hurt so bad. Your walls are so thick. What happened to you? What happened to me? Welcome back. That was a clip from the movie Tell It Like a Woman. In it, Jennifer Hudson plays a woman who overcomes abuse, drug addiction, prison, and homelessness to create a movement. Today, we are chatting with the woman behind yes. the story. Please welcome to DBL, the founder of Time for Change, Kim Carter. Yes, Kim. Kim, I love these stories. Yes, Kim, welcome. Uh, we love a comeback story. So you say you were born on the wrong side of the track. So what do you mean specifically by that? Well, the wrong side of tracks just means that I was born on the side of tracks that when the tracks were laid, it was to divide the haves and the have-nots. So I was on the side of tracks where we have not adequate resources for schools, we have not adequate parks, we have not adequate health care, we have not adequate social services. So I was born on that side of track, which means that I did not have what I need when I was younger to deal with the environment that I lived in that was underinvested, divested from resources. And so you guys understand when we say the divide, right? The divide, but basically the half of the half not. So I was Absolutely. born there. I was cute when I was born. <laughs> I was You're cute now. That's what's up. Well, you, do, do our audience a favor and please walk us through your childhood on that other side of the tracks and uh, walk us right up into the rock bottom of your story. So basically being born outside the tracks meant that my mom was a single mom of for children uh, did not have adequate resources for child care services. And as a result, I was uh, babysat instead. And my babysitter, unfortunately, was a pedophile. So at a very young age, I experienced some horrific sexual advances for which a five-year-old could not comprehend or digest. So take that and take that into this environment where um, it, I wasn't supported, you know, to be able to express those feelings so they stayed with inside. And as I got older, I got angrier and I got more infected with ill feelings, first of all, of myself because I never felt a part of or uh, felt good about myself, and second, about what I see, what was going on in my community. And I mean, I would watch TV and I would watch Bewitch and I would shake my nose and hope that I too would wake up and be somewhere else or in some other family, but that just wasn't the reality. So eventually it just led like, you know, the data would show, you know, when you're not getting access to resources and then you be in an environment that's drug infested and violent, then you just become a part of what that was. And so by the time I was in junior high school, I had already, you know, started drinking, smoking weed and, you know, ditching school and all the rest of that. Kim, so many people could relate to this in some form or the other, not specifically what you went through. But what was the moment that turned your life around? Could you have a specific moment? Well, I would say that what gave me a chance of hope for life because my life didn't turn around till I had hope that I could have a life because in here I really didn't believe that there was a way out because all I saw and all I endured was so much pain and so much horrific experiences I didn't know I thought everything good was on TV like it couldn't be for me and so when I got that hope and that's what um happened in that a drug and alcohol program for Jennifer, with Jennifer Hudson played me is that she saw me have the light. Now, I will tell you that I had a daughter and when I had that daughter, that was my um, my reason for living. Like I have someone else to be responsible for, but I still didn't have the tools I need to conduct a proper life. So yeah, I had to wind up going in and out of incarceration. And fortunately, I was a part of a pilot program that afforded 100 women the opportunity for treatment. And it's called the lottery because it, it, 3,000 needed it, but only 100 slots available. And I was one of those, none, one of those slots. Wow. I was number 87. Wow. wow. Uh, you know, I first of all, I appreciate um, you really talking to us about your childhood and the acute childhood trauma, because it really gives people an understanding of what happens when children are affected um, so early on in their life. But I want to get to what is the dream that you want to fulfill with your Time for Change Foundation? Well, Time for Change Foundation, our mission is to empower disenfranchised low-income individual and families by building leadership through evidence-based programs and housing that is designed uniquely to create thriving families and self-sufficiency. And so with that dream, I found out that there were other women just like me who had been hurt and who just needed a hand up and not a hand out. 
So in 2002, we have worked upon one housing program with our fingers crossed, just hoping that it would help. Now, over the past 20 years, we've been able to expand to 19 different locations. I went from being homeless to actually building affordable housing. I went from actually uh, going to jail, breaking laws, to now being able to work with policymakers and actually making laws, because I found out that there was poor public policies in place that needed to be shifted and needed to be trained. We started to address the root causes of systemic inequality. So that's a part of what Time for Change meant. So when I started the name Time for Change, I thought it meant change one thing. I didn't know it would be this universal call for change, change on every level, social change, institutional change, you know, family change. And so the changes became bigger than me. I'm just blessed to be able to wake up in my purpose every day. And it's because I've been afforded, you know, the faith of God that allows me to do all things because he strengthens me. Mm. Kim, walking the walk, talking the talk. Yes. I love it. I wish I, we had more I time. I forgot we were on the show. I was just like, who is this person? That was You're amazing. so blessed to have. You are amazing, Kim. So, oh, my God. Yes, oh my amazing. Goodness. DBL Nation, you can catch her movie, Tell It Like a Woman, and you can get Kim's book, Waking Up to My Purpose. Also, check out her website. A lot of things going on. Timeforchangefoundation.org. Kim, again, blessed. Thank Kim, you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me, you guys. Please come back.